Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Tuesday, April 9th, 2019. I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. It's been a little while since we've been able to actually do a broadcast. Uh, we just want to thank you all once again for being patient. We were having some electrical issues. Uh, we have worked through that, thankfully. Uh, everyone is safe. So thank you for everyone's concerns and comments that we received when we posted uh, the video explaining why we weren't seen online very much. And honestly, it was not safe to keep our electronics plugged in. Uh, we were really probably risking it every time we plugged in our phones. Uh, it was just an unreal situation, but thank you all for sticking around and being patient. Let's get right into our report for tonight, 2019, April 9th. Here we are taking a look at our solar wind speed sitting at a 457.1 kilometers per second with a density of about 10.6. And check out the sunspot here, guys. AR2738. Um, I, I thought when we were looking at this information uh, a few days back that this would be a very large sunspot. But surprisingly enough, it's sunspot number 12. And we'll go to... Uh, our space weather section here at the grand solar minimum.com first of all uh, this sunspot is producing very minor B class um, B class flares at this time so nothing stronger than that to this point KP indice has been averaging at a 2 to a 3 and let's take a, a zoomed in look here at our star this sunspot here look at the size of this thing this core is dark, and when you put the, the, the Earth scale to this, this sunspot, um, you know, when you compare it to real-time size, <clears throat> this sunspot is massive. Let's see if I can get this to play, folks. Sorry about that. There we go. Taking a look at it in motion, very large, uh, dark core, but again, uh, very tight. So sunspot number is 12, and it's clear. It doesn't seem to, anything else is forming behind it or around it but very interesting sunspot. Nonetheless, we are officially in solar minimum. Um, a lot of folks are in agreement that we will see the peak of this solar minimum sometime in late 2019 and early 2020. Um, and minor geomagnetic rest as for, was for today earlier. Now we did reach uh, KP index of four at one point over the last 24 hours. Now it's quieted down to a three. But uh, this, it just was below the G1 class geomagnetic storm levels. So nothing but uh, beautiful auroras to look at tonight as far as the effects from the uh, minor solar storm. Let's take a look at our sun right now. Let's put it in motion as well. So there's our sunspot. Very active, very bright, but only a sunspot number of 12. And other than that, we're looking at the sun right now. There's no large coronal holes that seem to be forming. So for the most part, uh, geomagnetic unrest at this point would have to come from a possible CME if this sunspot uh, chooses to release a C-class flare like it did the last time it came across Earth facing. And I want to point this out. And, you know, it's things like what I'm getting ready to show you that I would have never paid attention to if it wasn't for being friends with people like TSM Solar Observations. Um, you know, what we're looking at here is a lineup of the solar system at this current time. And you guys know the whole story here where all the planets are on one side of the plane. And what I'm talking about, uh, just so we can all be on the same page here. Now let me get my handy dandy arrow here. So here we have a line right here, <clears throat> all right? And on this side of the sun, we have a lack of planetary action, all right? Everything's over on this side. So the magnetic connection is stronger to these planets on this side of the sun because they're all grouped in the same area, especially right here, okay? So right now we're experiencing a weaker connection because of where we are in, in the orbit. And with your gas giants in place where they should be, again, this is a, a spot where you, you tend to kind of be a little bit more on alert when you look at solar weather, and especially with the sunspots. Now, 
I've got an article that talks about solar cycle 24 and 25 so we'll get a little bit more into that as well but just an interesting lineup right now and wanted to point that out that we are in the weaker part of the magnetic connection so you know stuff like when you have a CME and stuff like that uh, they could be a little more um, harmful to the uh, radio waves and stuff like that blackouts minor ones but nothing major unless we're talking about you know uh, 1859 Carrington event which no one here at this channel is predicting that but just I uh, was reading an article about that and again that's later in the show as well so I'll just save that for later we'll take a look at the rear end of the Sun the backside um, as we look at that bright region coming across now the eastern limb and behind it really just some weak spots at the 180 other than that uh, we're looking at the possibility of this AR 2738 will look like it holds itself together until it gets to the western limb so other than that uh, typical solar minimum type stuff here guys um, you're gonna see sunspots and solar minimum we are reaching the peak of the minimum and then uh, you know we'll start getting back into a little bit more action with solar cycle 25 Take a look at our TSI reading for April 1st, 2019. Came in at 1360.62. As you see, we have had ratings uh, all over the place for TSI up and down very, uh, I think, more frequently than usual. But kind of leveling out once again towards the downside of things. We always watch it around the 0.6 value and between the 0.7 value. And rarely does it get around the 0.7 value here. Uh, recently it's been there a couple times but now we're starting to see the trend uh, it appears that we are seeing a trend heading downwards again close to the lower values of 0.62 do you like this show give us a thumbs up want to support us more share to your favorite social media platform buy a t-shirt or become a patreon all links are in the description below